Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather around the table of the Eucharist to be filled with God's blessing so that our eyes, our minds, and our hearts can be turned to God's kingdom. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord, 
Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from our God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that you share in the sufferings. You also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We heard from our Gospel passage today the famous Beatitudes, this teaching of our Lord about blessedness. And if we will notice, my dear brothers and sisters, this part of the gospel is almost a poem. It sounds very poetic. It is not just an ordinary preaching. It is as if Jesus has composed this poetry for the people. At kung pakikinggan po natin mabuti ang parte na ito ay parang isinulat ni Jesus. At ang salita na paulit-ulit nating naririnig ay ang salita na blessed. No? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are the meek the merciful, the clean of heart, blessed are the peacemakers. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, repeating the word blessed, is trying to teach us something. And that is to focus on the word blessed, blessing, and focus on how this blessing comes from God. Kaya siguro paulit-ulit na sinabi ni Jesus ang salita na blessed to remind us of the reality of the blessing of God in our lives. Sana po mga kapatid ay kung paanong paulit-ulit na sinabi ni Jesus ang salita na blessed, blessed, in our day-to-day -day lives, I think we should also normalize saying the word blessed, blessing. Alam niyo po minsan, hindi ko po alam kung nagagamit niyo po ba sa araw-araw ninyong salita yung God bless you. Baka ginagamit lang natin yan kapag may bumabaking na tao. No? Minsan, kapag may bumabaking, ah, God bless you. But I don't know if this is very normal. Kasi minsan, meron akong kinausap, and I ended our conversation by saying to him, God bless you. 
And it seems that he was very surprised to hear the word, God bless you. At hindi niya alam ano ang isasagot sa akin. No? Para sabi niya, ah, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so parang nalito siya. No? Parang hindi na normal na makarinig ka ngayon na sinasabihan ka ng God bless you. I'm not sure if you still say it to one another. God bless you. Usually we say, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, keep away from danger, keep away from sickness. But I think we rarely say today, God bless you. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, it is time for us to normalize it. As Jesus has said repeatedly in our gospel today, blessed, to remind ourselves of God's blessing day to day. And this is also the message of our first reading today from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. He reminds the Corinthians at that time to encourage one another, to have compassion with one another with the encouragement coming from God. Because God, according to St. Paul, is the God of encouragement. Again, I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, how do we encourage one another? Paano ba natin ini-encourage ang isa't isa? Madalas, halimbawa, kapag may pinagdaraanan ng isang tao, ano yung sinasabi natin? Kaya mo yan. Lakasan mo ang loob mo. Kaya mo yan. Pero bihira nating sinasabi na ang Diyos ay nariyan para sa'yo. Seldom do I hear people encouraging us with God. But this is the message of St. Paul in our first reading today. Encourage one another in God because God is the God of encouragement. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, as we celebrate this Eucharist on the first day of your work week, of our work week, siguro iba sa inyo ay pupunta ng opisina, mga nakauniforme, <laughs> pupunta ng inyong mga trabaho, ng inyong mga gagawin. And I know sometimes when you come from Sunday, Monday feels very tiring still. And you still want to extend Sunday. But today, let us normalize this. When you meet one another, repeat the words, God bless. God bless you today. Let us normalize God's blessing as Jesus told us in the Gospel. And let us encourage one another, according to St. Paul, encourage one another in God because our God is the God of encouragement. May God bless you today and may God encourage you this morning. Amen. Please stand. We now pray to God the Father for inner peace, which comes from becoming totally dependent on Him. For every petition, let us say, God of blessings, be our reward. God of blessings, be our reward. That the leaders of the church may have the courage and strength to proclaim the good news which is a sign of contradiction to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of blessings, blessings be our reward. reward. That those who are facing persecution because of their witness to the gospel 
may experience the comforting presence of Christ in the midst of their hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of blessings, blessings be our reward. That we may take the Beatitudes to heart and become blessed and happy in establishing God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of blessings be our reward. That the sick and those who mourn the loss of their loved ones may be strengthened and healed of their sorrow and pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, God of blessings, blessings be our reward. That the dead may experience the joy and peace of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings be our reward. Eternal Father, we know that you care deeply for our happiness. Strengthen us and keep us close to you who is the source of our peace and joy. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gifts of missions. Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end. To your mission, Lord, we give our yes. Thank you.